there are a number of reasons women wear wigs. Hair loss, medical reasons, celebrities want sexy hair, and some Jewish Orthodox women want to remain modest. But within the Jewish Orthodox community, there's debate about whether some wigs are just too sexy. Israeli Rabbi Mordechai Shmuel Ashkenazi recently entered the debate by saying that long-haired wigs are not proper head coverings because they look too much like a woman's real hair, or better. Most long wigs constructed with real hair cost more than $1,000, and many are designed to turn heads. Those are exactly the kind of wigs worn by Chava Timbaski in Los Angeles, who began wearing a wig after getting married, as is custom. She's a mother of three and a popular Jewish musician. I consciously chose to cover my hair because there's something about knowing that I'm a little mysterious to the world. I don't, get, I don't give everything away. There's something that I keep holy just for me, just for my husband something that no one else gets to be part of. Could Tomboski be violating yeah. Jewish modesty laws by choosing to wear a sexy wig? Geula Newman, an expert in Jewish head coverings, says no. To have a wig that covers all of your hair and that looks beautiful, that's totally within Jewish law. Newman, who's married to a rabbi, is so familiar with Jewish laws on head coverings, she teaches classes on the subject. She says it's not the wig that's too sexy. The attractiveness and the beauty that represents godliness is very much encouraged in Jewish women and fits perfectly with the laws of modesty. It's when you get to the balance of too attracting in the wrong way. Although long, attractive wigs are permissible, Newman says it's all right for rabbis to interpret the law in ways which seem appropriate to their social context. A proper ordained rabbi in a specific community has the connection and the energy necessary to be able to really see a step ahead and really know if there's something that's necessary for that particular community to adhere to. At the Jewish-owned Milano Collection Wig Studio in Los Angeles, each piece can be cut and styled to fit the needs of the customer even when the rules change. There will always be debate because every rabbi and every Jewish community interprets modesty laws differently. I'm Lindsay Mastis for JN1, Los Angeles.